Hi to all, I hope you're all doing really, really well. In this short video, I would like to show you the latest uh, improvements that have uh, landed in the latest release of uh, Link, uh, Freehead Link Stage 3 from uh, Real Thunder. This uh, release is 2022.11.12 um, and you can download it uh, at the link that you will find in the video description. So the big one uh, as a new feature is called uh, Sketcher Internal Geometry and uh, I really think that this will change the way that we interact uh, with sketches for a lot of us. I will first demonstrate this and then we will also take a look at uh, the new per edge fillet and chamfer uh, radiuses. So to take uh, full advantage of the new internal uh, geometry for sketches, it is uh, best uh, to enable it by default in the Sketcher settings and we will go into Edit Preferences sketcher and I will tick the auto generate internal geometries hit apply hit OK and uh, as you can see we have a sketch uh, here that uh, doesn't have any helper uh, geometry and uh, if we would uh, try to extrude this sketch uh, we would uh, get an error message as wire is uh, not closed but now with make internal geometry if uh, enabled uh, for sketches if we close the sketch we can see that uh, the internal areas, uh, internal closed areas of the sketches can be selected. So let's try to make a quick selection and let's say that I'm in interested uh, to extrude this area here. I will do a pad for 10 millimeters, hit OK, and we have our extrusion. If now I expand the tree branch of the pad, I hide the pad, I unhide the sketch and uh, select only this closed area of the sketch I will pad it for 20 millimeters hit OK again if I want to extrude for example the circles I will hide my latest pad unhide the sketch select the area that I'm interested in and let's pad it for 40 millimeters but sure enough I would like to have the hole that uh, goes through all of my model again let's expand the, the tree for the latest pad hide the geometry and hide the sketch I will select the geometry that interested uh, me as a profile uh, for a pocket and I will choose to be through all and perhaps reversed. Hit OK and now we're done. Another useful feature uh, that was introduced in the latest release of uh, Link Stage 3 is the per edge uh, radius for fillets and chamfers. So if we select uh, this edge here and perhaps uh, this edge here and I choose to make a uh, fillet, I will give it a 1 mm uh, radius or perhaps a 2 mm radius. And now if I select this edge here and this edge here and let's say that uh, I want uh, only one millimeter radius for the latest uh, two edges. I will double click in the um, field under the radius and uh, now I can enter a custom value only for this edge. The same, the same we can do for edge number three by um, double clicking on the radius field beside the, the edge name and I will give it a one millimeters radius for this one too. But let's uh, just say that I want a tapered uh, radius for the edge number 12. That is my first one. I will add with the plus button here a new value. Let's add a new one and I will modify the first value to be perhaps uh, one millimeter and the second one to be three millimeters or to make it a bit more extreme, four millimeters. Let's hit OK. And as you can see, we have in uh, only one single voice uh, in the tree view, we have different radiuses for uh, fillets and even a, taper, a tapered one on the first uh, edge uh, that we've uh, selected. But uh, in the process of designing, uh, there will surely be some uh, times when we want to modify the design. But what if we want to modify the profile of uh, our first pad? And let's, ju uh, let's just say that if we take a look at our sketch, I want to add this area to my first pad. 
Well, to do this, I will double click on my pad and uh, as you can see, we have exposed here the profile that was used to make that particular uh, pad. I will uh, click the profile button and I will select the profile or area that uh, I want to add to my pad. I will hit OK and everything uh, goes well until uh, the, our last fillet. And uh, that is expected because we have completely modified the geometry. It is really easy to remedy to this by opening our fillet uh, and uh, taking a look at our edges. We can see that edge number one and edge number three can't uh, be found. I will use the toggle mode and I will remove them from the selection. I will add them again. And if we need to give them a custom value, I need to remove the toggle mode, double clicking the field under the radius value. I will give them a one millimeter value, the first one and the second one. Hit OK. Let's just show our last fillet. And this way we have uh, fixed uh, our model. Hoping that this video was uh, useful to you. I would like to thank uh, so much to all my supporters on Patreon and here on YouTube. You have enabled me to buy some equipment that will be really, really useful for the future of the channel. And there is some really exciting uh, stuff uh, coming in the near future. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.